Hello, my name is Charlie Bolden and I'm the NASA Administrator, the Space Agency of the United States. Since NASA's inception, we've sought out the best and brightest from around the world to either work for us directly or to work with us cooperatively through agreements with other interested nations like Argentina. For this reason, I'm delighted to be here in Buenos Aires today meeting with colleagues from Argentina's Space Agency. I was fortunate to fly to space four times aboard the space shuttle, twice as its pilot and twice as commander of the missions. As you may have heard, we retired the space shuttle earlier this year after 30 years of flight and 135 missions. It's been one of the most successful programs in the history of human spaceflight. But now, we're embarking on a new chapter of exploration and we're welcoming international involvement from the outset of our activities. Why, you might ask? Well, quite simply, it's because many aspects of space exploration can't be accomplished by any one nation alone. That is part of the reason I'm here in Argentina and why I encourage each of you to think about how you might someday contribute to space exploration and scientific investigation. While tomorrow's astronauts won't fly on the shuttle anymore, they will someday walk on Mars. NASA wants to send astronauts to deep space so they can visit places like asteroids and Mars, places we've never been but have always wanted to visit. These are going to be tough missions, and space agencies around the world, just like CONI here in Argentina, are working right now with NASA. Among the things we're developing are new technologies to get us to these places and to learn about how humans can stay healthy while traveling for long periods of time in space. You'll be the one setting foot on Mars or controlling the next generation of spacecraft that explore new worlds robotically. So no matter where you live in the world, we need you because there's a bright future in space exploration for people who study science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Whether you're in the earliest days of your education or starting a course of university study, the future is open to you and it's going to be bright. I talk to students and young people around the world all the time and they share one thing in common, a passion for our future and a desire to make a difference. Entering any one of the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is one way you can make that happen. Not only do we learn more about our universe through exploration, the technologies we develop to explore space also improve life here on Earth. On the International Space Station, or the ISS, for instance, we've developed water processing systems that people on Earth can use when they don't have access to clean water. We've studied pathogens and helped learn more about how to stop them from causing disease on Earth. Perhaps most importantly, We've also shown how nations working together can collaborate peacefully to increase knowledge and help all of us aspire to the highest potential of human nature. NASA's partnership with Argentina dates back 50 years, and we're very proud of our collaboration. Most recently on the Aquarius SAC-D mission to study our world's oceans and learn more about their salinity. When I was growing up, the world was a much different place. My state of South Carolina was segregated, and African Americans like me didn't have as many opportunities as we do today. I never would have imagined that my career would lead me to where I am now, head of NASA and traveling to South America during the Organization of American States International Year for People of African Descent. Luckily, I came from a family of educators. My mother and father were both teachers, and they enc encouraged me to make education my priority too. They expected me to excel, and they gave me the tools to do it. Those tools included motivation and a belief that I could succeed even when many people were betting against me. Despite the tough odds, I sought out people who could help me. I made the hard choices needed, and I got education and experience I needed through a military career. Two things were certainties for me as I entered the US Naval Academy. I definitely was not gonna be a Marine, and I didn't plan on becoming a pilot. Flying in space, well, that was way out of the question. But those two things have ended up defining my career and my life, and they came about because I was open to new experiences, listened to those who were wiser than I, and took a chance. My advice to each of you is to follow your passion, because that's where you will have the most chance to succeed. 
probably more so than almost any government agency, NASA is creating new global partnerships, and we need to have individuals who are curious about new ways of looking at problems and new ways of collaboration. The world of science is unending, not limited by borders. The challenges humanity faces to become a true spacefaring people are enormous, but hardly anything is more exciting. I was fortunate to pilot the mission that deployed the Hubble Space Telescope. The shuttle also helped us launch an orbiting network of communication satellites and to build an engineering marvel, the International Space Station. People didn't do these things without integrating a lot of skills, without taking a lot of perspectives into account of what could be, what should be, and what we could do if we reached out to others. I hope that may frame your philosophy as you choose what you want to do in life. And I hope that as your nation and our nation continue to build bridges together, your enthusiasm and the expertise you and people around the globe are developing will help us all achieve even greater things for our world. Thank you and good luck.